If you want to skip directly to the installation, skip to this timestamp. So Starfield is finally here, and despite mixed reviews, I think we can all agree on one thing. The performance is rather... I mean, no wonder it's capped at 30 FPS on console. But if you're feeling left out because you have an RTX card, like your boy, don't worry, I got a solution for you. So what is DLSS? DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling, in very simple terms, is a video rendering technique that renders frames at a lower resolution and then displays them to look as sharp as the full resolution with the power of AI. Logically, if you render the game at a lower resolution, you'll get better performance. So will DLSS increase your performance in Starfield? Yes, but not necessarily by much, it depends on your card so don't get your hopes up too high. But it still helps. One thing to note is that currently only DLSS 2, which does everything I stated previously, is available for free on the Nexus. Pure Dark is working on a DLSS 3 mod that will make your game perform even better, but it will be a Patreon exclusive. It's a controversial topic in the Starfield community now, but the facts are laid out. If you want better performance, you gotta pay a little bit. But why is DLSS 3 better? Well, it also includes a frame generation feature where AI will not only upscale the resolution, but also create frames in between, which will make your game run smoother. Also, know that DLSS 3 is only available for the 40 series, so if you have an RTX 20 or 30 series, it will not work. Now, I personally have an RTX 2080, so I will not get into DLSS 3, but if you do want to learn more, I recommend watching Captain Panda's video after this one for more information, I'll link to that in the description. What is FSR 2? So as you are desperately trying to lower your graphical settings, you might have noticed this weird FSR 2 option and that DLSS was actually missing. As many of you know, Bethesda and AMD, Nvidia's biggest competitor, are actually having sweet chemistry right now. And FSR 2, or Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2, is simply AMD's version of upscaling. But what is the difference between DLSS and FSR2? Well, FSR2 in theory works for all GPUs, whereas DLSS only works on NVIDIA RTX cards. So since it works on all cards, why would we even think about making the switch? According to an article from Overclock.net, which I have linked in the description, DLSS provide a better performance on 26 out of 26 games that they have tried out. So if you have an RTX card, DLSS will most likely be your best option. So now that we're up to date on the DLSS lore, let's get into the installation. Before getting into it, you'll want to download the following things, they will be the first links in the description. First is the Starfield Upscaler mod from Pure Dark. You gotta download it manually, not through a manager. In this video, I'll go with the reshade version because it's easily adjustable in game. Second is the Upscaler Base plugin from Pure Dark again, and again, manually. And third is the DLL files for DLSS. You'll want to download the one marked this one for RTX cards in the description. I will also include the links for the DLL files for FSR2 and XESS, just like on the mod page, just to have them there, but this video is only about DLSS. Now I know it's frustrating that you have to download three things and that they cannot be combined into one download, that is for legal reasons, so it will get taken down if the mod author did that, so you gotta be understanding. Go to where your starfield.exe file is, if it's through Steam, it's most likely in your program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and Starfield. Yes, it could be on other places, especially if you want to mod Starfield way more in the future, but this is a basic level tutorial, so it's most likely here. If you got your game from other sources, let's say Game Pass, you're doomed. Just kidding, I got you. It's in your C drive, Xbox games, Starfield, and content. Know that my folders are empty because I simply created some empty folders for the visuals. I have the game on Steam, so this is merely an illusion. Take the first thing you downloaded, the upscaler mod, and extract everything in the same folder as Starfield EXE. I already have it installed, but I will replace the files for the second installation. Go inside Mods, and then Upscaler Base Plugin, get the second thing you downloaded earlier, and place the DLL file in here. Now take the third thing you downloaded, and place the DLL in the same folder as the previous step, that one being Upscaler Base Plugin. It's important to have both of these files in this folder. Now go inside the game and press the end key on your keyboard, and this menu should pop up. If it doesn't, something went wrong so make sure to redo the steps carefully. Make sure you have DLSS selected here. Go in the display settings that are within the base game and make sure FSR2 is selected here. While it still says FSR2, this mod replaces it with DLSS in the background. And make sure the resolution scaling is lower than 100. This is the resolution that the frames will be generated, and with DLSS they will be upscaled to your native resolution. Now listen, this thing is really cool, and it does help. I get generally 7 to 10 frames more than with this option disabled, and while it doesn't necessarily bring me to a steady 60 everywhere in the game, it still improves my experience and it's actually a lot better. 
I gotta say, as beautiful and as cool this game is, I'm actually disappointed with the performance on this one. If you want to see more Starfield content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you found this video helpful. One thing I can guarantee is that a wave of Starfield content, including modding, will be available on this channel very very soon, so you really don't want to miss that. Have a great day, enjoy exploring the galaxy, and leave me alone.